Hello, Rotterdam. How great to inspire you today. I work in a beautiful place. It's Museum Boymans van Beuningen. Um, of course, I'm fond of museums. I visit museums everywhere in the world. They fascinate me. And it can be a big museum, it can be a small museum, it can be an art museum. You see some of the favorites behind me. Um, the nice thing about museums is that they are about 300 years old. So we have old paramecians like the Wunderkammer that you see here. It comes from the 17th century. So a connoisseur, a collector, could look into his Wunderkammer and show his taste. It's a great example. And maybe some of you will know the 18th century, great 18th century example of John Soane's museum in London. John Soane was a professor in architecture and he very much liked to show his students real things. So he took things from the Parthenon in Greece and he went to Egypt, took things to his home in London and taught them how to practice architecture. This is one of the best museums there is, still open and still good as it is. You know, a good museum can stay as it is. That's the Paramecium, het Pantoffeldiertje. But you can also, a museum, you, a museum can also adjust to its times. And that's what I'm going to elaborate um, about today with you. Because we are in Rotterdam developing a new typology for a museum. Maybe out of coincidence, maybe because of Rotterdam, I don't know. You know probably our rooms, it's a great museum to visit. We have 500 years of design history and 500 years of art history. Beautiful paintings, beautiful works. They are shown in about 80 rooms. The museum in the museum park is really beautiful and we have quite a growing reputation. We have about, well, it's not about numbers, but we have enough and a big audience. And well, last year there was suddenly a journalist from Le Figaro, they write their, their paper from Paris, and he was enjoying the visit to Rotterdam. He went back to Paris and he wrote in his newspaper, the Boymans, you should go there, it's the Louvre at the Maas, the Louvre at the Meuse, is it? Beautiful. It was a big compliment, of course, and maybe you are also acquainted with the most recent Lonely Planet. They said it should be a geheim tip, it's a secret tip. It goes well, and it's great because, well, museums give you, um, it, they inspire me a lot, but what happens in a museum is that you go there out of curiosity to see things that attract you. And you do that with hundreds of people with the same inclination. There's a simple truth behind any museum, and this is the truth behind any museum. And what happens if you are really into a museum is that you, well, you, you learn, you, you, maybe you are enlightened, but what also happens is that you get blown away by the, by the way that you look at things and how they, they, they land in you. We had, of course, some issues in Rotterdam, and you know many of them. And this is me five years ago, the first time that the rain became so terrible that it came down in our cellar and also in our storage. You're acquainted with these terrible rains. They were forecasted for 2050. Now it rains every summer like that. People of you living in Rotterdam know what I mean. The sewers flood, the streets are wet. You see it on the news too. It can land in Krefeld or in Berlin or everywhere. It was a great problem. Our collection has been in danger many times. Sorry, I'd like to correct that. It's not our collection, it's your collection. It's your treasure. It's the things that have been collected in 170 years in the municipality of Rotterdam. And it's a great collection. It's a wonderful collection and we should be very, very careful with it. Another thing occurred, which is good news. We have many contacts, of course. Many people come to me also after lectures, say, Mr. Museum Director, my grandfather's paintings are in my home. They, they look so yellowish. What's going on with them? Could you send over a conservator to look what they have? Mr. Museum Director, um, me and my brothers, we found a beautiful drawing in the cupboard of my father. We think it's a 15th century Jan van Eyck. Could you come over or could you send over somebody who knows? Mr. Museum Director, I collect. I do not have children. I don't know how long I will live. 
When do you visit me and could you consider to take my collection in your building? And um, I heard in the news that it's not so safe. What can we do about that? Many questions, of course. Another issue that you should know, really hard to know, but if you would decide to go to the museum, the Boymans, or another museum in Rotterdam, or any museum, an art museum in the world, you will see 8% of the collection on display. 92% is in the storage. It's not visible. And you know, that is bad news, because what you do not see, well, we have computers, we have files, what you do not see gets out of sight. An artwork should be experienced. It has a volume, it has a texture, it has a weight, it has a color. You need all your senses. Putting things in a depository is, in fact, not the step that we would like to take. And in all museums, in any museum where you go, it's 8%, maybe 9 maybe 7 but that's it. So the question I have very often in my office is, Mr. Museum Director, where is your Rothko painting? When it's in the depository, we know it be within a week, because people always react and respond to things that they miss. These three issues made us think and evaluate about, well, what should we do about this? Can we, this could be a good idea. Do you rec recognize this? This is a Fort Knox. A good solution would be, should be a little higher, maybe on a hill, because we have also the problem of the sea level, a gate, a fence, it's lit, a security guy, 24 hours a day, a vicious dog. Great solution, is it? Yes, it is safe, but is it generous? Is it open? Can you go there to see what we have, to see your treasure? I don't think so. Can you be proud? Can you get proud with such a device, such an institute? I doubt it. I doubt it. The 14th generation of museum visitor is approaching the museum. We have 39,000 kids a year in the museum. They come from all over Rotterdam. They come from all the schools. They enjoy the museum. This is the 14th generation. And it is so wonderful to tell them what art is and to see how they respond to it and how they relate um, um, uh, to an artwork. And, you know, the good news is that the ninth generation is still with us. This is my favorite older lady. She comes at all our openings and she is always the one who goes to the modern art openings. This is Ugo Rondinone in the museum and she looks at it and she is still there. And talking about generations, the secret of the museum in Rotterdam, your museum, this is your property, is that the first Van Gogh was donated to the Rotterdam Museum by 20 friends. And you know, we have 50,000 works, Rubens, Mondrian, John Bock, Oliver Eliasson, did you see it? It was on this summer. They are all donated, 50,000 gifts. Should they, should they all be in a repository? Should they be somewhere in a depot? I don't think so. It doesn't feel well. And what would Mr. Um, von Beuningen think about it? And what would Mr. Boyman think about it? This is not the way to get along with such an important collection. So, of course, we started to think about the solution. And we thought, well, what if? What if we could bring all these shattered collections together? in one place, a depot next to the Boymans. What if we could invite private collectors, so many of them that are already acquainted to the museum, in the same building and work with them and show their collections to the audience in the open, so not hidden somewhere in another place or in an own cellar, but work in the open. And what if we could also show you the skills. So we will do a conservation center next to the building or in the building where you can see what skills we have to preserve and to conserve it and to, and, to, and to take care of the collections. And what if that would be an open museum, completely open to everyone, to anyone? And what if we could develop a special typology for the building? Because what we do is that we, in fact, we build an open vault so we have a vault, it's secure, and we open it to you. 
you need a good architect for that. And well, maybe you recognized the hand of Winnie Maas from MVR DV. After an international competition, we found him, and he is going to be the next architect for our new depot, Depot Boymans van Beuningen. Here you see it on the spot in the museum park in the right corner, the, 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 the left hand corner. It's opposite the Nieuwe Institute and next to our museum. It's going to be a place where you come in the kitchen of the museum. You see us at work. You see us doing our job. It's the back office that is open to the audience. It has never been done. The Louvre, but especially the Victorian Albert Museum in London, have been with us three times now with bigger committees to look what we do, because they think that this could be the next... I'm not allowed to go out of the red dot, but this could be the next step in the typology of museums. And that would be great news. And we just developed it in Rotterdam. The inside, unbelievable, will be 36 meters high. We have of everywhere depositories, but also exhibitions of collectors that work with us, because we need to solve this. And this could be the solution. This is the world first that will be copied everywhere. Nice experiment for the center of Rotterdam. This is the way it's going to look, really. It's an entire mirror, 100% mirror. And well, if you have some feelings like vertigo, this is just the stairway to heaven. You can walk down to, and this is still under construction, design, but it will show the entire collection in glass boxes. It will be a wonderful experience, whatever you do, when you come, it's great. And just enjoy just the feeling that you will be welcome in such a secret place. And of course, upstairs, we have the nicest place to go of Rotterdam. On 36 meters, we have a restaurant where you can enjoy your coffees and enjoy what you have seen. You are all welcome.